I'm I'm trying something new. I am recording this without wearing headphones. I no no George. Of course, they're interested in knowing how I do the podcast. They're, they're very fascinated by this. As a matter of fact, uh, no, video. I but no, I, I've actually looked into video. Uh, what what a good webcam would be, and I'm working on a get up and a setup. But you know, th- there's something about podcasting. It's supposed to be audio. Remember, the idea of a podcast. The idea of a podcast is that you play it while you're doing something else. You play the podcast while you're working on the car or while you're driving down the road, while you're doing mundane non-word activity in the office. Uh, you know, assuming at the office you're, you know, it d- d- depends. You know, if you're dealing with words at the office, you should be listening to music or nothing. But if you're dealing with um, something that doesn't involve words, then while you're just doing regular mundane stuff, uh, it can be good to have someone, you know, rambling on. <clears throat> Hence myself. You know, I, while you're cooking in the kitchen, while, whatever you're, while you're doing something, while you're showering, that's one of my favorite places to listen is it while I'm in the shower. Because I can't, I mean, there's nothing to do in the shower. It's just soap and water and, you know, uh, that noise when the water going down the drain. I tell, I tell you what, I, I live in this building. Every time someone washes their hands, I hear water going down the drain. And all you've got is water and soap and noise is going down the drain. Let, plug in a podcast. That's, that's, p- podcasts are the most wonderful things to listen to. They're audio. Audio. I, some younger people don't get this. They, they, they stop what they're doing and they look at the computer, the blank screen on the computer, and they listen to the podcast and they say, this takes time. It's like, dude, you don't understand it. You're like, you're like that kid that I, I met who didn't know how to tie his shoes the right way. And he was 10. So I'm trying something different. I'm doing the podcast without headphones. A lot of people do audio and they don't do uh, well, I, there's this headphone or not headphone thing. And the idea of the headphones is like, like it provides some type of a monitor. The problem is I know what my voice sounds like and I know how microphones work. And I can see the little wavy, uh, the, 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 de- the decimeter thing uh, as I record. So I'm not so sure that I need to have the headphones. I know how life works. So I'm recording this without headphones. And I just wanted you to know that. I know that it made your life a lot better. And no, there's nothing on the paper that I'm rattling around. It just sounds more important. I'm coming to you with the news. Aren't we all figuring out that the news is a show? It's always been a show. Network, children, uh, be warned. It has some, uh, well, let's just say that it's quite accurate. A little too accurate for reasonably protective parents. But the movie network, if you can get the, the G or PG rated version... Uh, or PG-13 rated version, or even the... No, I I think that... I think PG-13 would be an improvement. I, I, I think that'd be the best improvement. If you can get a good, improved version of it, it's worth watching. Because it, the news is a show. It's always been a show. In the 1960s, you know, they, the news becomes like a game show. Like, they literally... They make the 6 o'clock TV news like a game show. They introduce it like a, you know, like a game show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the network news out... You know... And, and, it, and it works. Like, it makes sense in the plot. Like, it, it works. No, it, it, it was a story about an anchor who got killed because he had poor ratings, is, is the, how the story supposedly goes. So I'm trying this without headphones, and I have been thinking and looking all week. I did this video about this all week, and something's been occurring to me. It's about, it's, I, I talked, did I talk about it last time about competence? I tell you, you know, I just more and more and more, I keep seeing it and it keeps making sense to me. That there's people in the world that don't understand results and it's like they're mad about it. And, and, and yeah, my goodness, all these people are all angry about who became president. Good. Go to your, go do your jobs. Those of us that didn't like Obama didn't get mad and self-destruct because of uh, the uh, who became president. We were genuinely worried, but we put that aside and we went and did our jobs and the country moved on. And and if if you're uh, now if it's your turn to be upset about who's president, do what we did. Do what you always tell us to do. The country's going to keep moving. 
just do the things in front of you. There, there, are, there are people in your life who need you to be happy. There, whoever you are, whoever your friends are, when you see someone that's mad about the election, remind them. There's people in the world who, who, we, who depend on us. Everyone, all of us, we have people that need us. People that we see, people that we encourage, people we drop friendly lines to. We all have people that we talk to. And they need us to encourage them. And go, go back to that. Do, do, a good, do good work at your job. Do, do, do good work in your hobby. Go, go contribute to the world and get busy. And don't self-destruct about who became president. I, I, I think, I, I, really, self-destructing, getting all mad. And they're still mad. And they're more mad every day. And then they're mad that other people aren't mad. And that... I really, I, that like indicates something. You know what I'm saying? Like there's something going on there. And I think, I think this directly confronts the, the, uh, the, the, well, I'm going to get to it in the point. Well, it's that phenomenon of, of not knowing how to, how to get stuff done in life. I mean, all of us have things we're good at and things we're not good at. And it's good if you know what those things are. The problem is most of us don't know what those things are. Most of us have an opinion about stuff that we don't understand. Well, there's two things that everyone has an opinion about. One is religion and the other is politics. And, and most of the people who have trouble, like, 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 like just religion doesn't, they get, they're upset about it. Or they can't get very much respect about whatever their opinion is on religion. Or politics, they're just, they stay mad about it and stay mad about it. And they're upset about it. They can't get what they want implemented or whatever. Usually that indicates that they don't know what they're talking about. They haven't been involved. They haven't been watching. I, I'm a news junkie. I read news articles for the last four or five years. I have consistently put together news stacks week by week. Every once in a while, I take Christmas week off like I did this year. Oh, that was kind of hard for me to not peruse at least one or two days. I, you know, there are those of us that understand stuff. We watch stuff. We're familiar with stuff. Bible is another thing or anything to do with any religion. If you want to know about religion, you've got to really seriously, truly sit down and study it. I mean, go, go to college, take some serious accredited courses in something, read a stack of books on theology, like, the, you know, be versed in the stuff you're opinionated about. And if, if you're not versed like, like you've got money to show that it works. You've got a portfolio to show that it works. You've got logged hours to show that you've done it. If you don't have something put into the subject, if you can't say that's a law that I helped get passed, which I can say myself, if you, if you get, here's a committee that I attended and that committee changed its vote and I watched it happen. If you can't look at things where you've done something in an area, don't be angry about it. Look at the stuff that you know about and that you don't know about and, 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 and focus on the stuff that you do know about and tell, tell your friends the same type of thing. Let's all focus on the stuff that we know about and, and learn, begin that lifelong journey of understanding how to do better at things, including occasionally when you need to, trying to do a podcast without headphones. I'm going to get to the point. There is a line with an arrow connecting cause and results. That line is invisible to most people. It's difficult to know how to manage a farm, for example, from one year to the next. Every year's weather is different. The line between good farming and good crops always moves. It's always changing, always surprising. We never stop learning how to find the line, no matter how old we get. Some never master the art of learning the line. Success doesn't occur according to a checklist or multiple choice test. Life's line is organic. So must be our understanding of it. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.